why or how does ADHD present differently in women um, compared to men? And why is it often misdiagnosed or underdiagnosed in women? So I think the first the first thing to say is like the diagnostic criteria that we use, you know, the diagnostic statistic manual, um, that the DSM like has the same criteria for diagnosis, whether regardless of like how you identify what your gender identity is. Um, that being said, it seems like based on some of the research that women are more likely to have inattentive symptoms than hyperactive symptoms. So like when we're diagnosing someone with ADHD, we're looking at two big categories. We're looking at inattention and then hyperactivity and impulsivity. Women are more likely to be on that inattentive side. And so their symptoms tend to present in a way that is more internal than external. Even if they are more hyperactive, that still tends to be displayed in a more internal way than external. So, for example, someone, a woman with ADHD um, who is hyperactive is probably going to be like a leg jiggler, right? Like sitting here, like, you know, jiggling my leg while I'm talking to you or whatever, um, as opposed to a man who may feel more comfortable displaying some of that hyperactivity. So I think that's another big part of it is women are really socialized to be people pleasers, to like have this um, particular set of like social behaviors and to hide their symptoms really starting at a pretty early age. Um, so more likely to have the inattentive symptoms. And then when they do have the more um, hyperactive and impulsive symptoms, they sort of try more to hide it or to sort of translate it in a more socially acceptable way. So like when I say ADHD, the first thing that probably pops into your mind is like a five-year-old boy like running around a classroom ripping his shirt off, right? And that's the the kind of standard idea that I think even clinicians still have. It's very much so been thought of as a disorder of like young boys. And as such, I think most of the research has focused on the male population, so we've missed a lot of, like, how does this actually look in women? And clinicians are just not as attuned to it. I think we all have, like, our biases in different areas, and one common bias is that women are less likely to have ADHD, and it's just not true. They're less likely to be diagnosed, but probably for all the reasons that we just discussed. So I think clinicians are less likely to pick up on the symptoms when they are there for all of those different reasons. I think like attention deficit as the name of the disorder is like so misleading. Um, it is, I think it's better thought of in a lot of situations as like having a hypersensitive nervous system. And so a lot of times that manifests itself as you know, problems focusing, but really it's not that you don't have enough ability to pay attention, but you have too much ability to pay attention. So like for not saying you have ADHD, not diagnosing you, but at the beginning when you're like, oh my God, a squirrel, <laughs> that's like if people have ADHD, they're much more likely to notice things that are like extraneous and maybe not relevant to your podcast <laughs> but so other people's brains might like automatically filter that out whereas like the brain with adhd may be like oh my god that's relevant and so is that and so is that and so is that um so and i also just completely forgot what you asked me because that was such a funny thing <laughs> oh the hyper focus <laughs> so and actually that's another good example of the ADHD brain. So I've been like pretty open about my own ADHD on my social media channels. And, um, you know, even the internal attention. So like when we think of, we think of ADHD as like, you know, seeing the squirrel in the tree and getting distracted, but you also have a lot of thoughts that run through your head and people with ADHD are more likely to go and chase those and like totally lose track of, the question or the thing that they were talking about. Um, so we think of it as like too much attention. And sometimes when that attention gets channeled into something that you're super interested in, um, 
or it's just the stars align for whatever reason, then you get into that hyper focus mode, um, which can be really helpful for some people with ADHD. It's when they like get that project done that they've been procrastinating on all semester. 